Welcome to Mind Matters at Southeast Psych. I'm Dr. Craig Pullman, and the topic for this segment is college success and pitfalls to college success. My colleague is Dr. Dave Hagen. Yeah. Uh, here at Southeast Psych. Thanks a lot for being here. Thank you. You and I have seen a lot of students struggle mm -hmm. with the demands of college. Talk about some of the, the, the themes that you've seen, major uh, pitfalls. I'll give you three big ones. There are three things that seem to send college students home. And you know, we talked before that there are um, probably the majority of people who go to college don't finish in a five-year mm -hmm. span. And then you have struggling learners who even have um, more difficulty in college because of the differences between college and high school. But the three themes that I've seen that tend to send college students home, uh, one would be homesickness. They just get there and they're lonely, they're homesick, uh, just start, they feel bad, they feel even depressed. So kind of that homesickness is a biggie. Uh, the second is that they get in trouble. You know, they get a drinking citation or they get in trouble with the law in some way or they get in trouble um, with the academic community. So some kind of trouble sends them home. But the biggie, and this is the top of the list, is that they have very, very poor time management or very, very poor planning around how to uh, structure their, their, their work and the time around that. And so that is the biggie. If we had a pie chart, that would be the biggest mm -hmm. slice of the pie as far as when, when kids come home from college, the reason why they came home is usually because they didn't plan well, they didn't manage their time well. Now, and we can help with those three issues oh, yeah. through our college, uh, our college success service, mm -hmm. and helping with time management is a big part of that. Yeah, absolutely. Because time management is, is really tough in college. In high school, you're used to having the whole day structured. In college, now it's open. You have to structure it yourself. And so, what we talk about is approaching college like a job. Mm -hmm. You know, college is like a job, and it's like you have um, the whole day that you need to plan out and have some structure to it that you have to impose yourself. And if you do that, then it's usually going to be successful. But here's a rule of thumb. If you have college um, credits of about 15 hours for a semester, rule of thumb would be if you want to get about a 2.5 GPA, you're going to do about a 1 to 1 ratio. Mm -hmm. You know. 15 hours to 15 hours, so it's about a 30-hour week. If you want a, um, about a 3.0 GPA, you're going to do about a 1 to 1 and a half ratio, so about 15 hours to 22 hours. So you've got now 37-hour week. And then if you want a, about a 3.5-ish GPA, you're going to do about a 1 to 2. So now all of a sudden you've got a 45-hour week. So that's not a terribly long now, week. That sounds really onerous to a lot of college yeah. students, but when you lay out their, their week, the, the time is there. That's right. And so if, if you think, I've got 45 hours in a week, it's a regular work week, that mindset, that way of thinking kind of gets you in the way of thinking about how to manage your time well. Of course, that depends on the major, the school, the mm -hmm. person. You know, someone who's a theoretical physics major at MIT who has slow processing rate might have more time that they need outside of class than someone else who goes to Joe's College and Screen Door Emporium. But the idea is roughly that, that that's what you need in order to manage your time well. And again, we can help with this through yeah. the Mind Matters program. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Look forward to working on that more with you. Thanks for being here. Thank you. I'm Craig Pullman for Mind Matters at Southeast Psych, where we're saving the world one college student at a time.